All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know I gotta give you another Justice League video. But don't worry, I'm gonna go into more detail about the different characters in Justice League, break them down, and give you guys some more, you know, the solid stuff, the substance of this Justice League movie. But before I do that, though, I wanna get into something that is what it, the entertainment part of it, which is the the lit scenes in the movie. When I say lit, I mean like the action scenes in the movie because it's about time somebody talk about this. This movie was lit, okay? This movie was lit. You know, so let's get into it, man. Let's just get right into it. So in the beginning of the movie, I don't have a cut of that because whatever I have, it's not it doesn't do justice to <laughs> The scene, but Batman first facing a parademon in the beginning of that Justice League movie. That stuff was lit, lit. Batman investigating the parademon, see them flying up in the air. Not to mention that action sequence with Batman and the robber who he apprehends, basically ties up, and then he leaves <laughs> to to go investigate more about the parademons and where they come from and the and the boxes, which he didn't know was called mother boxes. But just that that opening scene with Batman was lit. Was lit. The, the next scene that was just lit, it was a lit scene. The action was whew, I still love it. I'm still I'm still watching uh, you know a pirated copy of this thing just to see that action scene. I can't get enough of Wonder Woman, man. How she moved against those terrorists. How she was blocking all those bullets and stuff. And it's so... It's so perfectly done. Zack Snyder killed it with that. Alright? He killed it. Her movements were so slick. Was so skilled. That's what Wonder Woman is. She's slick. She's skilled. You know, she slides around, man. And the way how she did that and she blocked all those bullets. Man, you're talking about a machine gun, man. To protect people. It's crazy. That was off the charts. I remember the first time I went in the cinema and I saw it. The whole cinema went up when Wonder Woman handled that dude, man. And then she just blasted him away to Kingdom Come. And I think that explosion that you saw uh, in the trailers, I think that's when she blasted the dude out the building. <laughs> kind of crazy, but it is what it is. Now, this here was the next lit scene in the movie lit and I was with Steppenwolf and the Amazons as Steppenwolf pursues a mother box and a boom tube opens up for the first time we see a boom tube man I'm gonna I'm like that was a fan moment for me I fanned out see that boom tube burst open like that oh my goodness and then to you got you gotta understand we saw a parademon sneak up a scout sneak up on Silent Stone and apprehend him you know what I'm saying so that was the second time we saw the, a parademon in the movie. So it was just like crazy to see this. You know what I mean? Uh, Steppenwolf, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <sighs> it's just so sick. Steppenwolf, man. He's bad. And they introed him perfect. Now, people say, oh, he's a CGI character and stuff. And I really don't get it, man. Because the, parad the parademon's a CGI, too. I mean, we don't. To me, they feel real. They don't feel like CGI up in there. You know what I'm saying? Steppenwolf feels real. You know what I'm saying? He looked like a monster. And, man, I mean, that sequence of action was crazy. Y your adrenaline's pumping because you're wondering if he's going to catch them. Then you realize this dude can leap like he can leap like nobody's business. You know what I'm saying? Parademons can fly. You know? They was fighting to keep the mother box. They lost the mother box to Steppenwolf. You know what I mean? Before all the Amazons come down on him, he's really powerful. You know, when, when uh, Hippolyta started to run, he was like, yes, run. And you can see how creepy the dude is. You know what I'm saying? Love it. Love it. Love that action sequence. And then when Diana is talking to Bruce Wayne about the history and what these mother boxes are, where they came from, and the battles... For planet Earth not to be terraformed into a hell place and people turn into uh, soldier zombies or dark side parademons. Man, that 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 whole war sequence was epic, man. It was epic. You're talking Amazons, man. You're talking Atlanteans, you know, other tribes of men 
Then you're talking gods, man. You're talking gods like Zeus. Ares leaps up in the air. You see um, what I think is Athena using the bow and arrow. It's crazy, man. Zeus using the thunderbolt. And he hits. He hit this dude with a thunderbolt. And the dude's still standing. You know what I'm saying? Crazy, man. On top of that, we saw uh, Green Lanterns up in there. Man, dude. The action was crazy. I mean, we only got a glimpse. I knew, I knew, I know the action sequence was a little longer because we saw stuff in the trailers and stuff. But, yo, that stuff, it was lit. was lit. i never seen nothing like that in any comic book movie ever. And then we got action under the sea. Aquaman versus Steppenwolf. Mira versus Steppenwolf. The Atlantean God, the boom two booming down there. Yo, Steppenwolf handling himself in the water because he's not from water. You know, he's not in a water environment. You know, Mira handles that. She's the master of that. You know, and man, it was just crazy. And again, I know there's more to it. But yo, what I saw was lit. Lit. I never seen. I don't remember any comic book movie where there was action sequences in the water. They pulled the shit off. Like realistic, man. I heard some people saying, oh, the water scenes were boring and so colorless. And I'm like, dude, it's in the sea, dummy. Dummy, that's what it looks like in the sea. Like, I'm like, man, y'all got to be tripping, tripping. Y'all tripping. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then Steppenwolf now, he's coming for the mother boxes. And I, I made a little mistake in saying that, you know, you saw the parademon with Silas Stone before uh, he invades... Uh, Time mosquito to get the mother box. I'm wrong. It's actually after, right? That was the last mother box he had to get was the one from Earth. And he was interrogating people concerning the mother box. Man, that scene was lit. 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 That was legitimately lit. Cyborg comes through, busts through the scene. You know, hits Steppenwolf. But Steppenwolf can take it. He can take any kind of blast, man. The dude's really powerful. Took the blast like nothing. You know what I'm saying? And some people say, well, you know, Steppenwolf, he ain't the strongest Doomsday. Well, we know in the comics he beat, he beat down Doomsday to protect uh, Darkseid. But Doomsday couldn't take them kind of shots and just keep coming. I mean, Steppenwolf took it and he kept coming. And dude's 10 feet tall, okay? He's big. Look how big he is compared to everything. And they're different sized parademons. But my point is, he big, man. Dude's big. You know what I'm saying? And man... You know, there wasn't a whole set of explanation about Cyborg being like the Parademons. But um, basically, Cyborg's like the Parademons. And I think uh, Diana talks about how Cyborg's made of the material of them. So that's how he can communicate and find out where they are. Where, where, where they were located, hidden. And she's talking about saving him and pulling him back out. And man, this, this fight sequence went on for a while. Diana taking on Steppenwolf straight up after Cyborg, you know... Uh, Tried to save his father, you know what I mean? And then, man, you saw how powerful Steppenwolf was. He took down Diana. And, you know, Diana had fought Ares. She had fought Doomsday. She was hanging with Doomsday. Steppenwolf was a whole different category of dude. You know what I'm saying? And then, because she was single-handedly fighting Doomsday. But in this case, with Steppenwolf, dude skilled in fighting and everything. Doomsday was just born and everything, but Steppenwolf was skilled in fighting and stuff, and he could handle himself, man. He slammed her up and onto the wall, and he knocked her down. The Parademons beat her up. He was like, this one is mine! C come on, man. Come on, man. And Batman comes, he shoots up at some Parademons. Steppenwolf leaps off the ledge that he was on, and he just attacks the Nightcrawler. Batman's like, man, he's tall. Really, Batman wants to get out of there, but the whole thing starts to disengage and everything's falling apart and falling down. And you remember that sequence, man, with the sword and with Flash and with Diana, man? That super speed dude's running on the side of a wall. He's moving so fast. He's moving so fast, you can see he's like a lightning bolt. I love how they made the Flash run. He's so quick that he's like a lightning bolt. He literally is like that. It's crazy. Of course, Mikhail, Mick, Nikola Tesla is in that. You know, whole idea. But it's just sick, man. It's sick. You know? And then, man, Steppenwolf, Cyborg goes, commandeers the Nightcrawler, turns it back over, and fires two pit, uh, missiles at Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf dodges one, and he catches the next one. 
you see Steppenwolf, I remember when Queen Hippolyta fired a bow and arrow at him, he just dismissed the arrow, like, psh. <laughs> like, please. <laughs> Dude. And Steppenwolf, man. I don't know about, I don't know about other people, but when it comes to, this is an action movie. Right? It's an action movie. And when it comes to the action and how it's choreographed and how it looks and the angles and the power beings and how they make the super power beings move and everything, you got to be out your damn mind if you're saying this movie boring, man. It's going to entertain everybody. And then there was another action sequence that was just dope. There was so many. This movie was lit from beginning to end. From beginning to end, this movie was lit. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't say that about BVS. You couldn't say that about Wonder Woman. You couldn't say that. And Wonder Woman was kind of lit. You couldn't say that about Man of Steel. This movie was lit straight through. It had action. And when it had action, it was done unlike any other comic book movie. Name me one Marvel comic book movie where you got a superpowered beings with super speed shot the way they are with super strength. With all these extra skills and abilities. You ain't going to find a Marvel film like this. You just won't. It just won't. And I, I'm not disrespecting Marvel. But y'all got to be tripping if y'all think this movie wasn't good. Y'all had to be tripping. Oh, it was exciting. But it wasn't the great movie that I expected from Justice League. Shut the hell up. How many times you want to see that movie in the cinema? Shut up. Stop with the stupid and narratives, man. Y'all got to be tripping. So, hey, this action scene was dope. Superman got resurrected. They went through the night trying to resurrect him, make sure they could figure out what to do. And the next day, as morning is starting to rise, right, as daybreak is about, about to happen, we see Superman brought to life. That was crazy in itself because, you know, it's sketchy. Like, is he good? Is he evil? You know what I'm saying? And then we got the most lit action sequence I've ever seen showing how powerful Superman is. You gotta, you gotta be out of your mind if you didn't like that action sequence. Man, we had Cyborg, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman trying to restrain Superman. And he was handling them all. You understand what I'm saying? And the Flash, he took off with a speed. He tried to go around Superman. You know what I'm saying? He tried to go around Superman. And my boy took off. Loved how he took off, too. This was in the trailers. How he took off. It, was, it looked like a sprinter, man. And he's running around Superman, and Superman's eye, <laughs> Superman's eye starts to track him, man. In a flash, he just like losing his mind. He's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. But Superman just like flings everybody away, and he's coming to punch the Flash. I'm like, hey, Flash, get out of it, though. He got out of it for the most part. Got knocked out. Superman bumped him. And slammed him into the, the, the slab with the names. But man, I'm not going to lie to you, man. That's a, that's a wonderful way to show how fast Superman really is. And how strong he is. When he came back with the Mother Box, he was stronger. He was faster. You know, man. I loved it. I loved every inch of it. You know what I'm saying? I loved every inch of it. So, yeah. I know some people was cracking up over it. And you should. It was funny as hell. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that was that action sequence. And I had to do with Batman. I had to do with Wonder Woman. And you saw how powerful he was compared to Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman could fight. But, you know, he real powerful, man. Then you had that last action sequence. That last action sequence was lit. That was where they went down to the place where Steppenwolf allegedly was. And they were about to tactically infiltrate to try and get, stop the, 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 the unity from continuing onwards. Because it was, it was already happening. And, man, look, man, it was lit. It was lit. It was lit. From Batman and how he was carrying on with his technology and equipment to take out the force field. To Aquaman shining. You know what I'm saying? Aquaman was shining in that thing. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman and Aquaman are the two strongest Justice League members aside from Superman. Alright. I would argue that Aquaman's probably stronger than Wonder Woman, 
but I think he may not be as good a fighter yet as she was. But as the fight progressed with Aquaman and Wonder Woman versus Steppenwolf, we saw that Aquaman started to get the better hand of Steppenwolf. Because Steppenwolf was weakened by Superman, but nonetheless, you know, where he knocked Steppenwolf back and then Wonder Woman hit him with the her power. You know, she emit her power and hit him up into the air and then Superman punched him down <laughs> punched him down into the earth, man. And hit him with the heat vision. Oh man, that was just crazy, man. Oh, that was a lit movie, man. That was a lit movie, man. That was a lit movie. I don't know about y'all. I don't know what y'all talking about. You know what I'm saying? But when they teamed up, you know, there was it was easier for them to fight Steppenwolf. If it was just Wonder Woman alone taking on Steppenwolf, that would have been that would end up with the Parademons. Nah, she'd have get she'd have gotten she have gotten done over. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I said when she was fighting Doomsday, of course it was just Doomsday. Um, that was totally different. She was taking him on and stuff. And she was fighting him. She was get, still getting beat up, but she was fighting him. You know what I'm saying? She restrained him. Steppenwolf's a totally different dude, man. He he's trained in fighting. You know, Doomsday was just this big hulking mass of of power, but Steppenwolf, man, dude could fight. Dude could really fight. He could really fight. You know, but man, and just the ending and and the, the poetic way, the poetic justice of how the end happened was just sick. And then we have this this fanboy moment, in which you would be fanboying out. If you ain't fanboying out, I don't know what to say, man. But this was a fanboy moment, you know what I'm saying? We saw the Trinity again, side by side. Somebody was saying a stupid comment like, uh, it was just Whedon, Superman. And I'm like, just Whedon, Superman? Are you nuts? First of all, that take you see there with Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman at the end of the movie, that's a Zack Snyder take. That's a Zack Snyder take. Um, because we saw all of the Justice League members standing on the wall. And Zack Snyder, he come from below upward to show that they are heroes now. And then he shows you the hero's perspective above to below. A Zack Snyder take. That ain't a Just Whedon take, man. Just Whedon tweaked the color scheme. I'll give you that. But that, that ain't no... Um, and they probably changed the background. But that's, that's straight up Zack Snyder, man. Even the all right with Aquaman and Wonder Woman, that's Zack Snyder again. We've seen that in the trailers many a time. So I think people are confusing uh, Zack Snyder's work with Joss Whedon's work. But I thought this was also cool. Just watching that Batman and Superman together. And then we see Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent together. I thought that was really cool. Clark Kent wearing that 1978 uh, coat from uh, Smallville. I thought that was dope. You know, Bruce Wayne wearing that Michael Keaton look. That's actually from Batman 1989. I don't know if you guys picked that up, but yeah. Just a little Easter egg for you. And was it here's another Easter egg for you. This is Tactical Batman from Arkham Knight. And this is Superman and his outfit. Um from you could go with the Injustice or you could go with uh um, they call it uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called but uh, where's Superman he not wearing that uh, undies on the outside you know what I'm saying but it's just cool to see these two guys together and again how do I know this is not a Josh Whedon shot well Superman if this was a Josh Whedon shot Superman's face would be CGI'd right and we know this ain't a Just Whedon moment either because Superman's face, once again, is not CGI'd. So we know Just Whedon did not direct that. Okay? That's how we know it's Zack Snyder directed those moments. So when they say here that Just Whedon did this, he did not. Zack Snyder did it. Okay? Now, I'm not saying Just Whedon wasn't working along with Zack Snyder, but that's a Zack Snyder moment. Now, Jack Whedon may have changed the background. But certainly, you know what? Another thing that's sick, man. The fact that Gal Gadot, you can't see that she was pregnant in this movie. You can look for it how much you want. You won't see it. And I'm thinking, that's crazy. Not only Cyborg CGI tight, but Wonder Woman CGI is tight. 
There are moments when Wonder Woman is CGI, and you can't even tell when it when it's she's CGI. There are moments when Superman is CGI, which you could tell sometimes those moments when he was CGI. But you can't tell when Batman was CGI. You can't tell when well Cyborg was mostly a CGI object. So you you, you know. But I'm just saying, the CGI on this thing was done so well, you can't tell where it was CGI and where it wasn't. And I hope that the CGI effects team, I hope that they uh, they continue to work on uh, the CGI for this movie. I want, I want it, when it, when it comes out on DVD, that we can't even tell that it's Henry Cavill's face had a mustache on it. That would be dope. So I hope they continue to work on this and get it done. Now, I want to just address one more thing. But first, I just want to show you this awesome fan poster before I go into that. And I just want to address one more thing. You guys have to understand that sometimes these outlets that talk about sources, the sources that they talk about, and they say they work inside of Warner Brothers, those sources can just be people stirring up confusion. So they may not be valid sources or they may be people who are trying to stir up confusion about this movie to keep people talking about negative things concerning the movie. Because the more negative press they can get means the movie's box office and people be disinterested to see the movie and the box office of the movie goes down. So it's a tactical strategy being implemented right now to get this movie to sink. Don't buy into the bullshit that's out there. Focus on what you actually liked about this movie. On that note, guys, you guys have a great one. Yeah!